So in this uh, particular problem, it's a grid type of problem. Using Warrington's theorem, uh, you have to determine the position. Uh, and the particular problem is asking to determine resultant, resultant inclination. Resultant means R, R, inclination is theta, and position is V. Asking three parameters. One is resultant, one is resultant inclination, and another one is position with respect to point A. For determining position, they will give some reference point. Or else you have to assume left corner bottom of the point uh, or any other any point in the system for a grid system shown in figure each grid 1 meter by 1 meter now first write the free body diagram for writing free body diagram first observe how many vertical forces are there how many horizontal forces are there and how many inclined forces are there so in the given present system one purely vertical force one purely horizontal force one couple and two inclined forces. For inclined forces, we have to determine inclinations, angle of inclinations. See, for first force, for first force, the slope, identify the slope, the origin. From the origin, we take the reference, horizontal, and whatever, there are two origin. One is starting point, another one is end point in the system. So, identify the slope. So, for first 20 kN, 20 kN, the slope is like this. So find the angle, find the angle of inclination. Theta 1, theta 1. For slope, each grid 1 by 1. So vertically, how many grids? 1, 2, 2 grids. Therefore, 2 meter. Horizontally, only 1 grid. So 1 meter. So apply tan theta opposite by adjacent. Therefore, we are getting tan theta 1 equals opposite is 2, adjacent is 1. Theta 1 equal tan inverse of 2. What is the answer for theta 1? 63.4. 63.4 63.4. Next, come to second 5 km. Identify the slope. This is the starting point and this is the end point. So identify the slope vertical and horizontal. Vertical and horizontal. This is the slope. So for 5. This is 5 kN. So identify the theta 2 value. So vertical slope is 3 grid. So 3 horizontal is only 1 grid. So take 1. So take tan theta 2. Tan theta 2 equals opposite is 3. Adjacent is 1. Theta 2 equals tan inverse of 3. So what is theta 2 value? 71.56. 71.56. So we determine two inclined inclinations. Now write the free body diagram. The FBD is given by. So this is A point. So here we are having 10 km and the distance is only 1 grid. The remaining are 2 grids. Next vertical force. Here, this is 20 kN, exactly at 2 grids, here are some 2 grids, so 2 meters, 2 meters, 2 grids, each grid 1 meter, 1 meter plus 1 meter, 2 meter, 1 meter plus 1 meter, 2 meter, so exactly at end point is 20, 20 kN, whatever the inclination, please take the inclination, here whatever the angle, here also the same angle. Here whatever the angle, here also the same angle. 63.4 63.4 Resolve this, you are getting horizontal component outward away. Just resolving the forces. So this is 20 cos 63.4 and vertical is 20 sin 63.4 and at 2 points you are having one more inclined force at 2 meter you are having one more inclined force that is 5 kN 5 kN and angle of inclination is 71.5 71.5 if you resolve this here also 2 forces if you resolve this, you are getting vertical 
5 sin 71.5 degree horizontal 5 cos 71.5 degree and also at end point you are having one more couple one more couple so the couple value is 5 kilometer meter so this whatever this distance is 2 meter this distance is also 2 meter and vertical full distance here to here a2 point is 3 meter this is the free body diagram for computation of r value we know that first result in computation r equals square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square compute sigma fx using sign convention all right side forces are acting positive all left side forces are acting negative first negative because acting left side minus 20 cos 63.4 next second this is also negative minus 5 cos 71.5 next plus 10 plus 10 so total only three horizontal forces one negative second one negative this one positive so what is the answer sigma fx minus 0 0.54 kilometer minus 0 0.54 kilometer so this is sigma fx now compare sigma fy sigma fy plus 20 for sigma fy all upward forces are positive downward forces are negative so this is upward force 20 sin 63.4 20 sin 63.4 and this is also positive plus 5 sin 71.5 5 sin 71.5 here one more force minus 20 here also three forces minus 20 so what is sigma fy value 2.62 2.62 kilo 2.62 kN. We determine sigma fx, we determine sigma fy. Substitute these two values in resultant equation. Therefore, r equals square root of sigma fx minus 0 0.54 whole square plus sigma fy 2.62 whole square. So, what is the resultant value? 2.56 kN. 2.56 kN. This is over. Resultant is over. Next resultant inclination theta. Resultant inclination that is theta. So tan theta. Theta equals tan inverse of magnitude of sigma fy by sigma fx. Therefore, which is equal tan inverse of magnitude of sigma fy means if you are having negative value. Just take positive value, measure angle within clockwise direction. So that is 0.54 divided by sigma fy is 2.62. 2.62. So what is theta value? Tan inverse of 0 0.54 divided by 2.62? 78.35. 78 78.35 degree. So this is inclination. Next we want position with respect to A. So complete moment with respect to A for position, for position, for position, complete sigma me, sigma me. So sigma me, here you are taking, so this point with a perpendicular distance of 3 meter, take it on in anti-clockwise direction. So minus 20 cos 63.4 multiplied by 3. So this is anti-clockwise. Next, this in same line of action, 20 sin 63.4 will not create any effect. But this 5 cos 71 moving horizontally with 3 meter perpendicular take a turn in counterclockwise direction. So minus 5 cos 71.5 multiplied by 3 horizontal distance. For vertical forces, generally horizontal distances are perpendicular distances for vertical forces horizontal for horizontal forces vertical is a perpendicular so next this is a vertical horizontal is the perpendicular that's 2 meter but with respect to point A take it on counterclockwise so minus 5 sin 71.5 multiplied by 2 is also counterclockwise that's why minus next you are having couple 
so you take direct value don't multiply with distance because it's already a moment so that is minus 5 next is 10 10 is having same line of action here 10 into perpendicular distance is 1 with respect to a take clockwise turn plus 10 into 2 is 20 10 into 1 is 10 next is 20 into 2 this is moving with respect to a clockwise direction 20 into 2 is 40 plus 20 into 2 is 40 so compute sigma ma compute sigma ma what is sigma ma 22.85 kilonewton meter 22.8 kilonewton meter so position is nothing but from Wallenstein theorem of moment d is the position sigma ma divided by r to substitute these just values 22.8 divided by 2 point resultant 2.56 how much 8.92 8.9 meters so this is d 8.9 meters see if you are asking only position compute only d if he is asking x intercept and y intercept then x intercept is sigma ma divided by sigma fy y intercept is sigma ma divided by sigma fx that's all we know all the values, substitute the value, you are getting x intercept as well as y intercept. If we are asking only position, only compute d. If we are asking specifically x intercept and y intercept, use equation, just change sigma ma by for x intercept, sigma ma by sigma of y. For x, y is the intercept. For y, x is the intercept. That's all. So this is a very very simple problem. It's a uh, 10 marks problem. Compute resultant inclination and position for grid system. So, whatever the inclination angles for concentric slopes, compute the theta. So, take whatever uh, on the uh, end points. So, resolve, write the free body diagram, compute sigma fx, sigma fy. If resultant, general equation, compute resultant, resultant inclination, as usual, next position. D equals sigma ma by r. So regarding this particular thing. So very very important problem. Please follow this basic simple steps. Thank you.